Brian Camp has ordered a mandatory evacuation for the Georgia coast. We told you last week when he declared a state of emergency for the areas you see on your screen. Well, now he says it's time to get out if you live in Chatham, Bryan, Liberty, McIntosh, Glen, and Camden counties. And CBS 46 is Adam Harding live in Glen County right now checking on evacuations on St. Simons Island. So, Adam, are folks clearing out of there? Well, certainly, Mike, the reaction right now is most people seem to be heeding the governor's advice. They are trying to get out of the area now. They'll plan to leave within the next 24 hours. Of course, so many eyes, though, are still on the ocean where we're still a few days away from Dorian and its potential impact here along Georgia's coastline. Businesses and homes are certainly bracing for the worst. And the reaction here is that although Georgia's coastline is very familiar with hurricanes, especially this time of year, there is something ominously dangerous about Dorian. Tonight, Georgia's scenic coastline is bracing for Hurricane Dorian. Businesses are boarding up. This is my hometown, so we help each other out. Time of need, you come together. As the storm continues to churn in the Atlantic. As you can tell, I've had this wood for years. Susan Bates plans to keep her Brunswick bar open for another day. We're in the low country. Before evacuating early Tuesday. We're glued to the TV like everybody else is. and trying to take expert advice and not be too frightened, uh, but to do smart things. And this, this one's a big one. This one has everybody's attention. We already booked a room in Atlanta, so we should be good. Brandon Murphy has seen this area hit hard before. Streets flooded. He won't be around this time. Business is flooded. Not a chance. It's pretty, it, it gets pretty bad. With so much uncertainty in Dorian's path, coastal Georgia is under a mandatory evacuation. It's going to look like a ghost town. It will. Much of St. Simons Island is already shut down as rain moves in. For Kevin Foley, it is a race against time. What we usually see is a lot of downed trees because of the live oaks and uh, high water. And water is the biggest threat, really. This morning, Highway 16 looked more like a parking lot as families began making their way out of town. Dorian has this community fearing the worst. How could you not take it seriously? I mean, it's the real deal. Now, looking behind me, you can see the conditions over my shoulder right now. Sunny blue skies. Hard to believe that we're just a few days out from a hurricane. The conditions today really have fluctuated between nice, relatively nice conditions, and then a period of short bursts of rain. Tomorrow morning, beginning at 8 a.m., contraflow on I-16 to ease traffic congestion as the evacuations continue ahead of Hurricane Dorian. Of course, we'll be here the next few days as so many are preparing for Hurricane Dorian. Back to you in the studio.